from Utah. Hi everybody. I hope you're doing well today. Uh, got a little project I thought we would do together. This is going to be making a journal card just using an index card and some book pages again. Recently uh, at the thrift store where we're staying I picked up this book and uh, when I opened it up I was really delighted with the illustrations here and I thought this would have a dual purpose I could make use the little <clears throat> illustrations for some journaling cards or pockets and uh, and then these images I think are just going to be gorgeous on some of my journal you know pages uh, where I'm journaling in my own journals um, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so yeah, as soon as I spotted this on the shelf, I was like, oh, i got to have that. Look at that with the bird. Isn't it gorgeous? I mean, the illustrations are beautiful here. I love that. I like the idea of that on one of my pages. Yeah, so let's just get started. I have chosen um, an image today to work with, and I thought this would be nice. So let me sit this to the side, and you guys might hear uh, my little heater kicking on and off. It's a very, very cold start today here in Utah. Um, cold at night, and then, you know, quite warm in the day, so I love that. That's, that's a nice climate for me, although I still cannot get used to the high winds out here. Um, wow. We had some really strong ones the night before, and it was getting pretty scary because the gusts were reaching up to 50 miles an hour, and you really feel that when you're in a travel trailer. I thought we were going to go uh, flying away. I kept thinking about um, The Wizard of Oz uh, that night. I thought, oh my goodness, we're just going to get picked up and thrown from here. All right, so these are the, the large index cards. we probably all got a few of those on hand. And again, I'm just trying to do things that, um, projects with um, things that I feel uh, you would already have. Now see, look at that, that little image across there. That would be cute as like some washi tape, so I'm going to save that actually. And I'm going to try to Stay in frame, guys, but bear with me. I'm just working on a table here, and I, the way I've got to position my camera, it's really, um, sorry, it's very awkward, and as you can see, I'm going to probably bump it. I hope there's not too much shadow, guys. I still haven't figured out how I can cope with this. <coughs> Excuse me, the... Um, the lighting. I've got to try to come up with a better solution so that you won't have this shadowing because I can see it. It's it's happening, but it's all down to space. But hopefully I can sort something out in the next uh, couple of months. Everything just takes longer when you're on the road because you've got to be aware of where you can receive a package. Um, and we're only in a spot here for a very short time, so I can't have anything sent. But I will share some exciting news with you guys. I went ahead and bought myself a sewing machine. Somebody spotted it on Instagram the other day and said, Oh, I can see stitching. You've got a sewing machine. Um, so, yeah, I just went ahead and, and took the, the leap. Um, and i got to say... Um, so far, I'm very pleased with it. It's a brother, and it's one of their more in it, uh, less expensive sewing machines, but it's computerized, and I've never worked with a computerized um, sewing machine before. And I, um, so far, am, am enjoying it, but I, ha I don't feel like I've given it enough chance to give it a full endorsement, if you know what I mean. Um, it... it does take a little bit of getting used to going coming off of the singer. Um, I guess you'd just say it as kind of a manual 
Um, the computerized is a little bit different, but I'm enjoying because this one's supposed to have 60 stitches. Um, I'll never use that many, but it was important to me to have some really pretty stitches this time. Um, and yet, you know, I still had to stay within a certain budget. But I would say this, um, it came in very inexpensive for what it is, but... You know, I would, I'd rather use it a bit more before I recommend it. But when I do, I will definitely share with you guys um, which one I went for. And uh, maybe at some point I can even share, you know, when I'm actually using it. I don't know how easy that's going to be in, in this space. But at some point you'll see it because I will eventually, Lord willing, have a, another studio and a home at some point. We just don't know how long this adventure is going to last. Um, the housing market is just crazy stupid at the moment. And uh, to be honest, uh, we, we're, trying, we're, we're kind of waiting to see if that settles down. Well, it will settle down, but whether it does before we need to purchase, I don't know. But that's another reason we've opted to just stay on the road Um because it's just becoming just silly, as as everything is. I mean, I'm sure, you know, you're <laughs> very much aware of what's happening with, with things at the moment. So, so, yes, at some point I'm looking forward to having my studio and getting it set up. But for now, I'm just so happy to be back creating. I'm um, sorry this has taken longer. I could have done this off camera, but I'm just not that organized at the moment. Um, did I share with you guys what we did yesterday? We went to C Capitol Reef National Park here in Utah. Beautiful day out. It was cold. Um, in fact, driving over, we went through um, the mountains, and there was there was some snow on the ground. Not a lot, but a, you know, a, a nice, beautiful white dusting. So um, we had a really nice day out yesterday. And filmed it all for the other channel and our own, you know, memory. I mean, I will just say our other channel has really just been set up for our own kind of like a vlog. And, and it's a way for all of our children because we've got our kids are scattered. It's a way for them to um, follow us. So um, we thought, oh, awesome, we've got everything filmed and yada, yada, yada. <laughs> We got home last night and Paul was so upset because um, the GoPro, for whatever reason, it did not film but about three minutes of the whole journey. So that was a complete bummer because we had some amazing footage yesterday. It was a gorgeous drive um, through that. I've never been through Capitol Reef before. In fact, I've never been to Utah until this journey. So... Yeah, it was a bit of a bummer because we, we won't get the opportunity to go back this year um, to redo it because we've got um, Paul's son is going to be meeting us in southern Utah before we head to um, <clears throat> our job, our seasonal job in Montana. So Paul's not seen his son for two years. Uh, so he's getting quite excited about it, as you can imagine. <clears throat> it's because of COVID, the COVID restriction. His son lives in Ottawa. And um, because of the restrictions between the U.S. and Canada, um, he's not been able to see him now for two years. So, yeah. So, anyways, we're looking forward to that. We're going to have eight days together. Um, and we're going to be exploring Zion and Bryce... Canyon, we hope um, that's the plan, but you know how these things are. <clears throat> if we get there and it's just too busy, we might not be able to do it with them. Um, they're younger, and we've got to be conscious about Daisy. I can't leave her for extended periods, and it's heating up here quite a lot. And I, like yesterday, I wanted to do a walk, um, and I just couldn't leave her in the truck so Paul had to go 
and I had to sit and dog sit with Daisy, but it's just it was just getting too warm here to do that. All right, so I've just taken <clears throat> this is some. <coughs> excuse me, guys. Let me get a drink. Yeah, you know I've got the croaky throat. I f I forget. It's been so long since I've done videos. Anytime I talk a lot, I get the croaky throat, so I'm going to try to get some drops um, so y'all don't have to listen to that. This is just a bag I got. Um, I did some printing the other day. I found a place in, the, in town to print. Holy cow, I've got to find a way to get a printer because um, I only had a few pages and it was $40 for printing, which I thought was absolutely ridiculous, but... I have to have them, and um, what can I do, you know? So, yeah, I've got to figure out a way to get a printer. I'm I'm eyeing up a little portable one. It's got very good reviews, but whether it's going to be good for what we do, I don't know. Um, okay, so I'm trying to debate. I've got some different colors, but I don't want to cover all of my... I wish I would have put this down first, actually. That was pretty silly, Gina. All right, I'm just going to get this down. <clears throat> and then I might have to go back over with a bit more of the paper bag. So, what was I saying? Hmm, lost my train of thought. Uh, oh, yes, about a printer. Um, I, I, I'm going to have to do one. I can't afford... And you, you know, when you're making things, you have to have the ability that, oh, I really need another uh, copy of that sheet. <laughs> um, I need the ability to be able to do that. So, somehow I'm going to have to try to budget for that and get that sourced fairly quickly because I'm finding out what I had printed the other day is um, not going to get me very far. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I kind of was taking advantage of this little shop. I don't know if she knew I wasn't a local, but that does seem crazy expensive, don't you think? Because um, it was only about 50... Sh no, I tell you what, she did come in and said, because when, when she rang it up, I said, just out of curiosity, how much is it per sheet? And she said, oh, for paper, it's 49 cents a copy, and... For cardstock, it's 59 and I thought, well, my goodness, I wish I would have went ahead and just had it all on cardstock. But um, I guess I should have asked her before, but I was expecting like 20 cents a copy for color. But I don't know. It just, I was really, really shocked. So, that being said, um, I'll... I'll I'll figure out a way. I'll get a solution somehow here. So I just thought it'd be nice to have just different colors. Um, so yes, yesterday was a really nice day out. I'm just kind of bummed that... Um, we didn't get the footage that we want, so Paul, Paul's out today, or this morning. I don't know how long he'll be gone, but he's out at a little local spot here, which is gorgeous. You'll be seeing that in a video on the other channel. Um, I don't know when. We're so far behind on these. Um, we run about a month um, out on our videos and you can imagine you know I mean you've got to do it for security reasons as well um, but we are um, you will see the area that we're in at some point um, if you follow that other channel I know it's not everybody's thing so we totally get that but we are we're enjoying it we enjoy sharing the journey um, with with people. It's been a lot of fun. We haven't been in front of the camera much. Um, 
Paul and I are both really uncomfortable in front of a camera. So, but we've got to get over that. I know we did, that we do, but. Okay, so I, I've got that on there. Let me just take, this is that little sanding block that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm sure you can pick these up anywhere if you're in a place that doesn't have the Dollar Tree. But this is really, I like this so much more than the nail files. Um, okay, so now I would like to get a little bit of doily somewhere. And I think maybe it might be nice over here somewhere. Doilies are never easy to get down, are they? I just find I just put this on here and then hope that I've covered it as well as I need, and then I'll have to go back. Because they can tear so easily, these. I don't have my sewing machine out, um, but I will probably go back later and um, run a stitch around it just for some interest. <clears throat> but it's not the sort of thing, when I'm doing this, I just, the, the sewing all has to kind of be done on a, a different time. Because I've, Paul's made me a little space, and I will show you guys um, how I've managed the storage in here in a future video for anybody that's on the road that's maybe thinking, oh, I'd like to do that. What could I do for storage? It's nothing, um, you know, earth-shattering, but Paul's come up with a really clever place for me to keep my sewing machine. But what I'm having to do is kind of gather everything up, you know, make my projects, stack them up, and then pull the sewing machine out, do my sewing, and then put that away. And uh, It seems to be the best way to, to work with it. Alright, so there we go. It's a bit sticky still, so... Alright, and I like the idea. I want the definition, or, you know, the bit of history on that, and then I think it'd be pretty just to have that. Kind of like, the, kind of some something like that, I think. I know it's going to cover some of it, but I would like the title, unless I made, you know what, I could cut the title off and put it up here. I'm going to leave it all as one. I think that looks nice. <clears throat> the books are the biggest problem for me, as you can imagine, because books carry a lot of weight. So I am very um, restricted. And I what I'm trying to do, because obviously... You know, I don't want to do every project with images like this. What I think I'm going to do is probably gut the books and dwindle down the pages that I... Because some of the images in there I probably won't use. And it just will eliminate some of the weight. So that's probably the best way I'm going to be able to do it. And music sheets, I think... I probably use those more than anything... And then trying to find old, you know, nicely uh, aged pages. I haven't come across a lot of those um, since I decided to do this. It's unfortunate. Um, there was a fabulous, I think I told you guys this, a really, really good thrift store in Cortez. If you're ever there, it's the little United Methodist one. 
but see, I hadn't made the, the decision to go all in. <laughs> um, otherwise, I'm sure I could have snagged some lovely books there, and they were so reasonable. Um, but I'm sure I'll come across some, but again, I'm just going to have to get a few things. <clears throat> I've actually even been thinking maybe the better solution is to find a, a seller on Etsy that I could just buy a nice mix of things is probably the most sensible. I'm keeping my eye out for, um, but again, i got to wait until I'm in a location where I can have it shipped to me. But I need to get a nice assortment of book pages. Um, I've already bought loads of gas checks, so I'm not going to buy those. But, you know, just things that you would normally buy. I mean, if you remember my place in the UK, I had bought a thousand of those window envelopes. But my goodness, that was for a pound, which is the equivalent to like a dollar thirty. And but I had the room to store it. And I don't have the room for that now. And even to go to Walmart, I don't have room for like a hundred of one style of envelopes. So I need to get a really nice variety. Um, so I think that's going to be the best thing I can do. So please share with me, guys, if you have some of your favorite. Um, sellers on Etsy let me know let me know in the description box because I would love and maybe you've got a channel I'd love or a, a shop I'd love to support um, some of the businesses but I just don't because it was not something I really had to purchase before so do share that and all I'm doing now is just inking it a little bit I'm not going to go heavy heavy on it Um, okay, and I was wondering about a little butterfly, if we need that or not. This is a Tim Holtz, <clears throat> excuse me, I was looking to see if I had anything in my stash that, um, from previous kits that I brought, but I didn't bring much. So I'm going to have to go with these. I don't really like... I like these, but then I don't because a lot of the stuff that comes in these um, packages, I don't really use. So I prefer to find really nice digital kits um, in colors that I know I, I'm drawn to because it's better value. That way I can print like three or four sheets off I don't have any cheesecloth. Cheesecloth would have been absolutely perfect under there. Don't have it. Um, let me see if I've got a little bit of <clears throat> fabric. Do you guys hear that wind picking up now? Oh, it's relentless. <laughs> absolutely relentless here. Okay, so I've just got a little bit of lace and a bit of muslin. Uh, these are just little things I've thrifted. And I think that little butterfly may be just kind of off that way. Yeah. <clears throat> So probably what I will do, let me see, let me, I've got some glue here. I've been using this um, 
the Eileen's tacky. It takes longer to dry, but um, I got to get the glitter glue and some of the fabri tac. I, I can see I'm going to have to get my fabri tac back, so I should have just ran a little stitch, but I didn't. Hey ho, it'll all start to come back, won't it? And I need some bulb pins. See, that's another thing. I have hundreds of bulb pins in the UK. But I've got to find somebody that can just sell me like 20 or maybe 50. 50 of those. Because <clears throat> I, I don't have the room to hold a bunch of them. Chatter, chatter. She's off. Okay, so I really like that. I think that's come out cute. It's um a lot of different texture on that and I'm really I really like that. Like I said, the only thing I'd probably if it was easier to get to it, I'd probably run a couple of stitches around that in a brown, like a dark brown, I think would be really pretty. So that's the, how quick and easy and it's another use for our book pages and the um, journal card uh, sorry um, index cards these are the four by six yeah I should have told you that but you could use that you know any size I've got a pretty good stash of those so yeah I hope that you guys have enjoyed that and then on the back um, just do a bit of inking around the back of it and then it'll give a nice another little place for somebody to um, journal and that will fit in nicely into any journal. So I'll share with you guys a couple of things I've purchased. I know these are probably old news to most of you but this one is gone, Art Gone Wild the Stampers, um, or you know, the Tim Holtz collection. I just recently got this because I, the, what draw, drew me to this is there's multiple uses. These are great for just backgrounds, and I like to get stamps like that that I know um, are just going to add uh, really nice uh, texture to the background and or interest to the background, I should say. Um, so I, I try to purchase stamps that I know I'm going to get a lot of uses on because I only brought a few stamps with me. And then the other one I purchased was the Field Notes. And this is a really, really nice stamp set. You get so many stamps with that. So I'm, I'm excited about that because I love all these little bits. Um, the numbers and things that you can you can just add. I thought it'd be fun one night when I'm watching TV. I might just stamp out a whole sheet of cardstock, and then that way when I need them, I can just come in and cut them out. So that's my thinking on that. <clears throat> so there you go, guys. That's um, our little project today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Super quick, easy. It's you know nothing new. Just my take on it. So I hope you guys are well, and I will be back soon. Take care. Bye.